Can you buy an adventure helmet for 75 bucks? Yes, you can. This is the KOV Onyx Adventure Helmet, and it's pretty decent, but there's one flaw that you should be aware of. Stick around to the end if you want to find out what that is. I've owned this helmet for about two and a half months. KOV has nothing to do with it. They didn't pay me. I bought it myself. I've given this plenty of real world testing, driving it back from Mexico City about 1,000 kilometers, approximately 600 miles. I've driven all around the city, through traffic, along the dirt roads, etc. different speeds, different temperatures. And I've given it some real world testing. And here are my thoughts. It seems pretty well built. It's DOT approved. It's very comfortable, fits my head very well. I will note though, in most other brands such as Bell and Thor, which I've either owned or do own currently, I am a large, but in this helmet, I bought a large, had to send it back and get the medium because the medium in this is the same as the Bell large, but it fits me very well. All the lining and everything removes quite easily. You just pop them out, similar to more expensive helmets. That pops out, this chin thingy pops out. Man, there you go. The styling, I think is really great. I think this helmet looks really cool, really aggressive. It's got this area here that you could put your goggles in if you wanted to. You could just wear goggles with the visor currently on or remove the visor. This is gonna upset a lot of people, it's gonna be controversial. It doesn't have the D-ring strap. It has the uh, ratchet style, which, I have seen other videos on this. Fort9 does a really great video on this. These are not as strong as D-rings. Uh, still pretty strong. I went with it because when I'm going casually riding with my friends, I'm constantly stopping, taking the helmet off, going to the shop, doing a lot of things. So I'm constantly helmet on, helmet off uh, on adventure trips. So this comes in really handy. Got gloves on, you just pull that, bam, and your helmet's off. I think the tinting on this visor is awesome. The color is awesome, it looks totally badass. And it's got a light tint so that uh, blocks a bit of the sun. Now here's the big flaw with this helmet. The visor, this visor doesn't go down far enough, making it basically unusable. Here's what my view looks like when this goes down. It doesn't matter if I try to tip the helmet down even more or look up, it's still not far enough. This needs to come down like another centimeter. And I don't think there's anything I can do about it, which is a massive flaw. If I have my head back a little bit, I can see the lens of the camera directly. However, because this main visor has a tint on it, I end up using this a lot. Uh, so I can just put this down or leave it up a tiny bit to get airflow. It does kind of suck in traffic. I have to lift it up all the time. However, overall, I really do like this helmet. Despite this major flaw, I'm still gonna keep it. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe.